I'm going to tell you the truth about battery swap. Then we're going to talk about battery swap versus charging. Is it more cost effective to just charge or should I swap? Then we're going to be unveiling the true cost of battery swap for Neo. Is it even worth it for Neo to swap? Now that took seven minutes. It usually takes around five to seven minutes. But what if I told you it's not always rise and shine? In fact, for this swap, I was only able to swap to a 70% charge battery because that was the battery with the most charge. If I wanted to swap to full battery, I would have to wait for another 20 minutes just to get a fully charged battery which I didn't want to do. Now these first generation swap stations have a total of five battery slots with one of them being the 100 kilowatt hour battery and the re remaining four being 70 kilowatt hour batteries. Now my EC6 has a 70 kilowatt hour battery so that means there's actually only four available batteries at each swap station. And sometimes I'm not the first one to get a swap. Usually there's a long line of NEOs waiting to get swaps the lines have been getting so long that NEO owners decided that they would take matters in their own hand and cut in line. They would park their NEO right in front of the swap station and be like, hey, swap mine or no one else is going to be getting a swap. And the police have even been called. Obviously, there aren't enough batteries at these first generation swap stations. Now, you also have to get out of your NEO to let the NEO specialist come in and drive your NEO into the swap station which sometimes you might not want to do. Sometimes it's, it rains. Sometimes you just don't want someone else to drive your Neo, whether it's for health concerns or privacy concerns, whatever. Of course, there are improvements that can be made to these first generation swap stations. And that's why right now, there are these second generation swap stations available. I have just arrived at the Sinopec Neo 2.0 swap station right here. Look at it, man. It's nice, it's big, but why is it shut down? Why is it shut down? Well, to explain why it's shut down, we gotta understand this partnership. A while back, Neo and Sinopec signed this strategic partnership to share the location of the Sinopec gas stations and NEO will build swap stations at some of the Sinopec gas stations which is really cool but why is this one shut down? You're thinking why is this one shut down? Let me explain. A while back a few months back there was a charging station fire here in Beijing which by the way was totally unrelated to NEO. So the fire department had to look into more strict regulation into charging stations and swapping stations counts as a charging station. So the fire department looks at this, hey, you got 13 batteries, your charging station, there's a potential for fire, battery fire. And then there's also a gas station over here. So, oh my God. Battery fire times gasoline fire, 
that's not good. So, the fire department was like, nah, 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 nah. Ain't gonna happen on our watch. So, they forced Neo to close this swap station temporarily. But hopefully soon, I'll, I know for a fact that soon they'll open up again. So let's go to another 2.0 swap station, all right? On our way there, we stopped for some lunch and there was a Neo and x store. So we have just arrived at the swap station. As, a, as you can see, we have 11 out of 13 batteries. This is, oh my God, there's so many fully charged batteries. And then there's, there's two of them that's about to be fully charged. So, wow. And then we got one 100 kilowatt hour battery, but everything else is 70 kilowatt hour battery. This swap station operates 24 hours a day. All right, now it's my turn to swap. Now the whole process is automated, which means you don't need to get out of your Neo when you're doing a swap, but there will be a technician on standby in case you need any sort of assistance or you still like the traditional method of swapping where the swap technician gets into your car and does the swap for you. The whole entire swap took a little under six minutes, which is slightly faster than the first generation swap station. But the biggest appeal here is definitely the 13 batteries inside the swap station, which means you won't be needing to wait that long for a fully charged battery. And these 2.0 swap stations are able to do a maximum of 312 swaps in a day. Every single Neo gets six free swaps per month every month forever every single neo gets it all right this is neo's guarantee to every single new buyer now it's pointless to compare free swapping to dc charging which would cost money but what gets interesting is if you're on your seventh swap of the month which would cost money we can compare that to dc charging to home charging to see if it's worth it to swap if you're on your seven swap now new actually has different fee structures for their swap stations now inside my new app i can scroll down and here i have the charting map and i can look at the different swap stations available in beijing so for example let's go to this one which is the one that we filmed at 
So if you're on your seventh swap, swapping here will cost you 1.04 per kilowatt for electricity and 0.54 per kilowatt for service fee. Interesting, right? So let's go to another swap station. Let's go to this swap station over here. And here we can see that this one charges a little bit more, 1.15 and 0.48. And over here, this one, this one charges 1.35 and 0.66 for service fee. And over here, this swap station, 1.62 per kilowatt for electricity and 0.69 per kilowatt for service fee. Now charging costs are a little bit harder to calculate because they do depend on the time of the day. But as you can tell, DC fast charging does range from 0.72 all the way up to 1.33 at some areas and then at other areas it can go even up as high as 1.5 etc etc so you can see this one is 1.4 and you see this one is a little bit more expensive the lowest it goes is 1.13 upwards to 1.74 so for the purpose of our calculation we're going to put it at around average number what I've been charging at so that would be around 1.3 because this is the average price that you can expect from a fast charger in China now when you actually go for a swap or charge there will always be some range left in the battery so you're never at completely 0% battery but for the sakes of simplicity in our calculation we're just going to say that we're swapping from 0 to 100% charged battery. With that out of the way, here are the numbers. As you can tell, since I have a 70 kilowatt hour battery, swapping to a full battery, if I have to pay for swap, it will cost me 131.6 RMB, whereas DC charging would only cost me 91 RMB. So it's much cheaper to go with DC charging. Now, if I have a home charger, and I can set charging times at the lowest electricity times, which is around 3 a.m., I can get by with charging at just 28 RMB. Now, the picture is a lot more exaggerated if you have a 100 kilowatt hour battery. And as you can see, it costs 188 RMB, and DC fast charging would only cost 130 RMB, while home charging is only 40 RMB. Of course, we have to considering time, so here's what that looks like. As you guys probably already know, swapping takes the least amount of time, which means it's perfect for those highway long road trips where you don't want to stop, you just want to swap and go, and if you're in a hurry, swapping is perfect for you. As you guys can tell, swapping is the most expensive out of the bunch, so in my personal opinion, if you're on your seventh swap of the month and you're out of free swaps in that month, unless you're in a very big hurry, it's probably better to go and charge. Now that's only if you don't mind the charging time that it takes. What is the most valuable resource right now? It's obviously time. You can't buy any of it, but you can save time by going swapping. So some people might not have the extra hour to go and charge but personally I me I don't mind going charging if I had to pay for swaps I would probably go and charge my Neo and maybe read a book maybe edit some videos or maybe just you know chill relax and rest for a bit and the answer becomes even more clear if you have a home charger if you're out of free swaps and you got to choose between paying for a swap or versus charging at home while you're sleeping at night that would be the obvious more clear choice for you to do you're sleeping at night right you're not going to be using your car charge it set it so that you charge when prices of electricity is the lowest and then the next morning your neo is fully charged so do people actually pay for their battery swaps and answer is 90 percent of the time no they don't because everyone has free swaps and six free swaps per month is plenty enough for you to commute to work 
and just use on a daily basis. But if you're going long distance or traveling a lot, then obviously six swaps won't be enough and you would have to either go swap and charge and people that don't have the time to charge, they would definitely go and swap and pay for it. What some new owners might also do is say, I'm planning a road trip later on in this month. So from the start of this month, I don't use any of my swaps. I just go and charge my Neo. And when it's time for my road trip, then I use my swaps on the highway swap stations, which is what I need them for. And that way I get my swaps for free and I use up my six swaps on the highway. And while I'm in the city, I just charge. Now is swapping even worth it for Neo? The answer is yes, but not in the way that you're thinking. All right, hear me out, hear me out. Each swap station costs around 3 million RMB to build, which is around 500K US dollars. And then on top of that, you have to pay rent for the land, right? Neil has to pay rent for the land for the swap station. And you also have to pay salaries and benefits for the swap technicians. And you also have to pay for electricity bills to provide free swaps for new owners like me. So it doesn't take an expert to know that, hey, this is not gonna generate any sort of income for Neo. It's pure expenses. So you're asking, why is it worth it? Well, you gotta think of it this way. Think of swapping not as a asset that generates cash flow, but more of it, it's an incentive to buy a Neo vehicle. Think of it as a restaurant that offers free salad bar. And then you got a restaurant that doesn't offer free salad bar, right? Even though the salad bar, the free salad bar is a expense for this restaurant, it's a big incentive for people to come into this restaurant. So this restaurant gets more sales. In fact, after surveying many, many Neil store managers and Neil sales rep, battery swap is the deciding factor and battery swap is the reason why they chose Neo. Another way to think of it is, imagine if Neo was a company like BMW, all right? Think of it like as if Neo was BMW. Now, imagine if BMW offered every single BMW sold six free gasoline refills every month forever. Oh my God, everybody's gonna be buying BMWs, right? So that's crazy incentive. Now, it doesn't stop there. Imagine if BMW builds these gas stations everywhere across the country just for BMWs, all right? BMW exclusive gas stations for you to come and refill for free. Man, think about that. That's how crazy battery swap is for new owners. So back to the restaurant analogy, that would be like the salad bar that has ca caviar and truffle. Right, so it's a deluxe salad bar and everybody's like, man, this restaurant has such good perks. Of course, we're gonna go with that. So in return, Neo generates more sales, more people buy Neo. So that is why battery swap is actually worth it for Neo, even though it is an ongoing cash burning expenditure. Please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell. It helps me out a lot. And check out my other cool Neo videos. I got one over here where I interviewed Neo Management and he actually spills some secret about Battery Swap Station 3.0. If you live in China and you have WeChat and you wanna give Neo a test drive, well, scan this QR code and see what it's all about. Stay safe, stay healthy, peace out.